Hey there guys and welcome back to Mod Source 2. This is Casual Kiwi. Uh, this is about episode 8 I think we're up to now and uh, straight off the bat we are cracking into, I'm halfway through auto crafting a solar panel 4 from, what mod's it from? It is from, good question. Solar, it is from Solar Flux. So one of these guys, they have got a generation of 256 RF per tick and a transfer of 2048 and they can store 4 million RF. Uh, so pretty beastly little thing. We've already got one made. Um, so I've gone ahead and set all this up behind the scenes. Um, so I've got some alloy smelters and things set up downstairs which I'm going to show you quite, well in a little bit, um, which are on a little sub network that I just learned today from one of the Project E devs off Reddit, so um, on the Feed the Beast Reddit to be fair, um, I know this is a AT launcher pack but it's all good. So quite a cool little sub network that allows you to hook an absolute bunch of interfaces up to one or many machines. Um, and makes it quite simple, which is quite cool. So hopefully this isn't going to take too long. It's just waiting on this glass. It's got 36 glass to go. So what we'll do is we'll nip downstairs. Yoink, yoink. Got some elevators set up there. So here is our little sub network. So we've got a ME interface, which is on the main sort of trunk line. And then it has as a block form, the block formed interface. And then it is not connected, sorry, to the main trunk line, so that is where our sub network starts. It goes along, and we've got a storage bus on this machine and a storage bus on this machine. And then to power those guys, we have some quartz fiber cable, which is connected to the main network to get power, so it transfers power but not data. Um, I think that's the way it works. Yes, power but not data. Um, and then the data is working between this interface and these storage buses. So then we've got interfaces on the interface, just to be confusing, we've got three of these bad boys, and these, that one's got the glass pattern on it, and this one has got nothing, and this one should have, over here, if I can get over there, yoink, should have the alloys, so I've got Electrum and Invar in this side. Um, now, because these two machines, one is set to furnace mode and the other one is set to alloys only, depending on what uh, what patterns I put in these guys, it should just go to one machine or the other. But we could have 9, 18, 27 patterns plus another, what, one, t another two sides that we could connect stuff to on this interface. So we could have another 18, or whatever 18 and 27 is, 50 something I guess. Um, patterns all connected to however many machines along here we want. The reason I've got the import buses is just so that the items that are cooking in here can uh, get taken back into the system and finish the crafting process and it's all working quite nicely. Um, we are chugging through the power though so that's why I've sort of been crafting some extra solar panels. And my frame rate is terrible, 20 FPS, this is shocking. And I hope it doesn't look too bad for you guys. It looks pretty bad to me. It's pretty blurry. I'm actually going to stop recording and I will come back when I can get some better frames. Okay, hey there guys. I'm just testing recording again to see how this is going to go. Um, it's looking like it's a little bit all over the place. We've got sort of 50 FPS, which isn't too bad. As long as it stays over 30, it looks not too bad and doesn't go too blurry. So we'll see how this works. Um, right, so what we were going to do this episode is I was going to show you a little trick to make a book with Flim Flam 1 on it. So Flim Flam 1 is pretty easy. All you do is you take a bunch of books, you get a bunch of emeralds and I have a butt ton of those because I'm getting them from my uh, sieve and basically surround it with emeralds, well not surround it, four emeralds around it like so, gives you a flim flam book. So we can grab one, two, three, four of those, oh it's, they don't stack, two, four, we're going to grab a few because basically what I want is we'll grab four more, uh, one more I think. I think that's all we need. And then we want to make some bookshelves. Lexu, which we should be able to whip up. One, two, three. So they don't stack. Oh, I have all sorts of different colored wood. Those guys, nice. We'll use this one up first. We should be able to go yoink, 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 and yoink. 
Uh, no, okay, magical wood. I've forgotten the recipe. Magical wood, like so. Ah, we need gold as well. That we can do. Yoink, 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 and yoink. And it gives us 23 magical wood. I thought it only gave us 19, so it's obviously been buffed a little bit. I was sure it only gave us 19. But hey, we can we can do that. We can deal. We'll put in a few more. We're going to get a heap of this because I am going to make some tools out of it. Hmm. So it doesn't work with jungle bookshelves. But, ah, it's because it's from Gainies. Okay, can we convert those? We can't convert those to normal bookshelves. Okay, so we need some standard wood. We'll grab some, we'll get rid of that, and we'll put those away. We will make some spruce, a couple of stacks of that, and we will make some standard bookshelves, because those ones don't look like they're going to work. Bookshelf, oh, not shelf, shelf, lovely. Yoink, yoink, and that is with spruce, spruce, like so, we probably don't need quite that many, um, and then magical, like so, a yoink, not going to work, gold, book, one, two, three, and four, hmm, 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 why is that not working, I don't think I have it wrong, I can't only make it once, Ah, oh, it's because it's from Gainies again. Oh, god damn it. Okay, so we need to make original, okay, wood. Just, have we got oak? We've, we don't. We don't have any oak. Okay. Uh, we've got jungle wood. Can we just make standard? How many books have we got left? Crikey, we're mowing through the books. We only want four. Let's make them in this guy. Because with this guy, we can go ahead like so was it or was it like so i can't remember now bookshelf ah three books crikey that's expensive we're gonna be so out of books like so so that is the gainies one we should be able to come flunk and we have the minecraft bookshelf lovely and then we should be able to do that oh is it because i changed that aha 25 we got more for that one that's different. Okay. How many more books have we got? We've got another three books. Oh, this is a pain in the backside, I tell you. That one's a Gainies one as well. So those bookshelves are useless. They're obviously not all dictionary to work. Um, so we're going to make another one like so. Yoink. Gives us a standard Minecraft bookshelf. And then we can make more magical wood. Beautiful. So we have a bunch of of magical wood. Now magical wood is used for making ender quarries and also one other awesome little thing that we're going to do. So we're going to look at ender lilies, these guys here, yoink. We're going to go and plant them out here somewhere with our stuff. So we've got those on that side, we might as well make ender lilies over here. Um, we'll plant them, I'm thinking, if we go one, two three four we need some magical wood yoink 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 and yoink and we should be able to go hmm i'm sure you could plant them on magical wood apparently not okay apparently that's wrong i'm gonna leave that there i will figure that out later and um fix whatever's going on there i was sure it was magical wood but i could be completely wrong right Next thing I want to make is, I want to make a hammer. So do we have the bits and pieces to make a hammer? So we need one of those, we don't need a paper. We need a, well we need two of those actually. We need a tough rod, which is here. And we need the hammerhead, which we don't have by the looks of it. Hammerhead we should be able to make. Do we have to pull the hammerhead? Hammerhead cast. Not that one, that one. Which is that guy. Hammerhead pattern. Lovely. So what we want to do is we should be able to go into... Not this one. This guy here. We should be able to put a 
bunch of this into there and make one, two of you. I'm going to make one of you. And we want to make, we'll put those away, one of you. And then we should be able to go into this guy, a hammer, and go yoink, 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 and yoink. And that gives us eight modifiers available on this hammer, which is freaking beastly. So the damage on it is very poor. We have 680 damage, but that's fine because for our first, uh, not damage, 680 durability, for our first modifier, we're going to go ahead and we're going to chuck a diamonds on there straight away. And that's going to use one of the modifiers, and then we're going to put a butt ton of redstone on it, and it's going to be a beastly little hammer. So nice. Magical wood hammer, throw a diamond on that bad boy. And that gives us, leaves us with seven modifiers, but it goes up to, what does it go up to? Plus 500 durability. So our durability is, what was it before? Doesn't actually say what our durability is. Must do. Mining XP zero, clumsy. Hmm, it doesn't say, but we're going to add it anyway. Yoink uses one modifier, and now we should be able to mine in a 3x3 three three area. We'll quickly duck somewhere and test this guy out, because I imagine it's going to be epically slow. Um, but that's not really of any concern, because we've got seven modifiers that we can add redstone onto this bad boy. Oh yeah, it is super slow. And yoink, finally. But that's fine. We can add a butt ton of redstone to that, and it's going to be super fast. Nice. Okay, there's one other tool that I want to quickly make as well, down in here. So actually we need to grab some stuff out of this guy and we want to grab some enderium, like so. Uh, we'll actually grab all of it. So basically what I want to make is a sword called a cutlass. Um, and basically that's going to be my defensive sword. I've gone ahead, I've made a Signalum Cleaver, and that's got Beheading 3 as well as Looting 3 on it. It's got 22 attack damage, so it's pretty beastly um, for doing, getting Wither Scales and all those good things. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do at all. But in here I want to chuck uh, as much of that as we can, and I would presume at this stage. Let that start cooking up, because that's probably going to take a while. Um, that guy there can just go in there so that we can repair things and we'll keep the signal uh, the enderium so we can repair things as well so for the cutlass we need the full guard we need a sword blade and we need a tool rod and then in this guy here um, we're gonna have to make some casts because I don't think I have any casts for those items we have the tool rod that's fine we don't have the sword blade or the full guard, so we can put the tool rod back. Yoink. Um, yoink. So we need is a full guard. Am I doing that wrong? I'm not. Can we not make the full guard out of that? Can we make the sword blade? Am I doing this wrong? I'm doing it in the wrong table, aren't I? Grab that out. I wonder, should I use any magical wood? Hmm, to make a part for the sword. I could make the full guard out of magical wood. So we've got a sword blade. Hmm, that is tempting. I wonder how many modifiers that will give me. I've got a bunch of magical wood. Let's make it. And, oh no, not the sword blade. We don't want that. We want, we've got the sword blade. We want to make the full guard maybe out of magical wood. One, it won't allow me to. Okay. Stone guard, nice. Okay, so now we need to go over to this guy. Have we got any gold in here? We do. Gold down the bottom, nice. Take that guy out. We want to throw the full guard in there. Yoink pull some gold over it and make a cast and the full guard should disappear and we get the cast lovely so then we want to throw our sword blade in there as well yoink uh, basic tinkers guys basic tinkers stuff and come on come on are we out of gold 
Ah, we must be out of gold. We've got plenty of enderium in there, though. We'll grab some gold. Um, I know gold's right there, but I want to just grab a block because we have a butt ton of blocks. Don't need two. One will suffice. We'll throw a block in there. Let that guy melt down. Shouldn't take too long, and then we can make the cast for the sword blade, and all will be well and good in the world. I hate how we have partial nugget ingots we have nuggets why has that got five ingots and four nuggets obviously things don't take a whole um ingot but it's it's a pain it leaves leftovers and i don't like it it'd be cool if there was like a dump button to dump leftover nuggets and things out of your smeltery um that'd be quite handy are we there are we there we're halfway there okay <sighs> While I've been away, I have been grinding away. I have managed to get a bunch of wither skulls. I've got 13 there to kill. So this is what we need a cutlass for. And then we're going to move on to something a little different in a minute. We're going to start an auto crafting process. I've also built, I'm not sure if I showed you guys earlier, my little Britannia room. Um, I think I did it after I finished recording last night because the game wasn't playing ball. I was only getting freaking 20 FPS. We're getting 60 now, so it should be looking good. Um, so... Overnight, we filled up a mana pool. I've just about five minutes ago went ahead and made this mana distributor and sat down some more mana pools. So we're going to have a bunch of mana stored away in here. We've got some hydrangeas, hydroangeas or whatever, and some floating ones here as well, with some water behind some beautiful glass, up to a mana spreader, down to the distributor, sending it out to all four pools. Up in here, we've just got some pure daisies doing their thing on some wood and some stone to make magical wood and magical or living rock and living stone why did that one say living rock it didn't say living wood okay glass roof keep the mobs at bay all is working quite well uh, hopefully that glass is done now so we're going to work a little bit more with Britannia um, later on when we get to it i want to make Probably a set of armor is probably one of the first things I want to make um, from Britannia because we can't get enough um, Wither Skelly and Nether Stars to get the Quantum Flux armor just yet. It's just a little bit out of reach yet. So we will get there, but it's just going to take a little bit of time. Yoink! So we've got an Enderium Sword Blade. Um, we're going to take that. We're going to put that guy down as well. And we're going to make an enderium full guard and i wonder if we can make a magical wood tool rod yoink is that set full guard tool rod is that still a full guard it is a full guard lovely um not in there yoink yoink um we'll put that go oh there's so much stuff in my inventory we'll put that back and the tool rod in here i wonder if we can just make tough rod, where's the tool rod? Tool rod, yoink. We can. Magical wooden tool rod. We might make that guy because we can always replace him with an enderium one at a later date. It's leaving magical wood leftovers. Throw that in there. Um, because we've got a magical wood tool as well, we'll go ahead and we will keep some of that in there just for repairsies. Right. Um, so we want to make this tool. We want to make a thing called a cutlass, which I think you just go to the normal sword, this guy, but instead of having it the way it is, you have that. You have the full guard, and you have an enderium sword blade, and it makes an enderium cutlass. 20 attack damage, um, modifiable, how many modif- we have, only have one modifier. Hmm, we might quickly whip up an enderium tool rod. And see how much that changes things. It's not going to cost us. We've got heaps of enderium. It's not going to cost bugger all. That and that. And we'll throw that back down. And then in here. If we swap. That guy. For that guy. 20 attack damage. 3300. And that's 20 attack damage and 2475, but with one modifier. So we can probably. Ooh, it's still got pretty good durability. It's only the durability that lowers. Attack 10 hearts. Attack 10 hearts. It just adds basically another thousand to the durability. What I might do is I might leave that modifier. Yoink. Because we can replace that tool rod, I think, with the Enderium one. Parts can be replaced. 
But for now, with that guy, super fast attack compared to the uh, Signalum Cleaver, it's two less attack damage, but we can add Quartz to it. So we can uh, grab some of this. We can make some blocks. Make that many, I guess. And we'll grab a bunch of that. And then we should be able to fill up a modifier and up this attack damage as well. We'll do it in this guy, like so, with the blocks and that. 10.5. 47 is it, we've got 11 attack damage. I know I can put this in a crafting table and do eight at once, but hey, we're almost there. Almost. 72. 72 of 72, 12 attack damage, 12 hearts. And it's still clumsy, so we can level this guy up, and that's going to be a badass sword, I reckon. Let's see if we can find something to kill. Right, what have we got? Must be some mobs around somewhere, or is there nothing spawning? Dun dun dun! Come on! Why is there nothing spawning? Cows are too easy. That's weird. Where are all the mobs? There's usually heaps of mobs. Is it only just turned night? No, it's like midnight. Hmm. Strange. Very strange. Well, you're dying, chicken. <laughs> well, it certainly kills chickens anyway. Um, where the hang are all the mobs? I know uh, Timbo wouldn't have changed it to peaceful or anything stupid. There must be mobs here somewhere. Must be. There's not any mobs for days. I don't know what's going on. This is really random. Options. Where's difficulty? Normal? Yep. Okay, that's really, really weird. Not sure what's up there, team. Can't find any mobs, so can't really kill anyone for you. I don't know, unless um, Timbo's plopped down some magnum torches or something, but there must be quite a few to get mobs uh, not spawning that far away. Really, really strange. There's usually mobs for freaking Africa all around here. Uh, well, duck. No, there's none in there. I think in the millennium, last millennium, there's always quite a few mobs because um, Casey hasn't cleaned off all the spawning areas. Ooh, he's got some computers up and running. Ooh, he's got a big reactor. Nice. Um, doesn't look like we can get outside anymore. We used to be able to. Ooh, upstairs. Here we go. Yoink. No mobs? Nah, he must have it lit up a bit better than he used to. Okay, Tim, uh, Casey's base is coming along anyway. Lovely, lovely. Okay, let's head back and finish off what we were, well, what we started with. So, yoink. Much better FPS there. That's, oh, that's right, it takes us all the way back here, doesn't it? I forgot that it does that. Oh, there's some end Ah, mobs, perfect. <laughs> Nice. One hit kill. One hit kill. That's fantastic. That's exactly what we want to see. Okay, so we're over near Timbo, so no wonder our FPS has dropped down. Timbo says that in his base he gets perfect FPS. He doesn't have any lag issues at all. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Because um, I'm only getting sort of 30 FPS whenever I'm near his base. Um, this world is loading in, so that's obviously taking a hit because we've just come back from the last millennium. But... Um, yeah okay <laughs> okay so we've got some tools and all those good things made up we're just going to dump that um uh what is it called the metal from britannia mana steel gonna drop that off in here 
those are doing their thing that's great um, and we're going to carry on and we're going to start making a little something that's going to make getting uh, with the skellies not with the skellies um, near the stars a little bit easier so what I want to make is an item called reinforced obsidian and it would help if I could spell forced obsidian this one here now it takes for freaking ever to make because you need dark steel bars you need dark steel ingots and you need obsidian so we're going to need to make a machine which is the um, igneous extruder i don't think i have one or oh, i might have one stashed away somewhere actually and get that set up with a lava source as well as um, make some recipes to get this dark iron processed so what we're going to need i think for a start is a blank pattern because i don't think we have one of those guys yoink blank pattern nice so basically what we're going to start off with is making um dark steel so dark drac my spelling is on point dark we've got six is uh, this guy here dark steel is made and it's iron pulverized coal and obsidian so we should have most of that stuff so we've got a piece of iron there nice i'm gonna get rid of that 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 all this stuff for now um, because we don't need it right away feathers uh, ink and buckets and bookcases all that stuff can go fantastic okay so we've got iron we need coal dust which I went ahead and made some earlier not very much though ah it's all in the chest still and we need some obsidian which I only have four. So we're not going to be able to make very much, to be fair. Okay. So that can get us the recipe going. And I should be able to look in here. And we have some more coal dust, which is great. Oh, and we'll grab the coal dust too. Yoink. So we can throw all that away. Yoink. We just need one of you. Yoink. And what else do we get? Some sulfur and some glass. Perfect. Okay, so in this ME pattern terminal here, we can go ahead, we need a processing pattern, and we can say one obsidian, one coal dust, and one iron gives us, in here there should be a dark steel. One dark steel. I ooh, We better check that, because I want to make sure that that is the recipe, um, i.e. that we don't get more for our craft no we only get one so that's why this takes so long because this takes 20,000 RF per smelt to make one ingot and each piece of the stuff um, requires um, a very long smelting process yoink so we've got him we can go ahead we should be able to chuck that in with these guys here these other alloys yoink which are in the little um, sub network that I showed you earlier and then we should be able to go if we go craftable only we should be able to click on that guy and say we want two next start and that should be crafting them so if we oh, we can take the elevator yoink, downstairs it should be in this guy and it is crafting it and see how slow it's going and that's with the second tier or the intermediate tier capacitor so this stuff takes a while it takes a very long time starting the second one and that is what we need to do we need to craft probably a couple hundred of that so what we need is actually this guy over here the igneous extruder so what i'm going to do is we need to make probably a ooh, some sort of pump what should we make should we make the hmm i'm thinking we might make a ender pump endothermic pump ender oh it's ender dash thermic isn't it endothermic pump so it's a little bit expensive but it's not too bad or oh, we're going to need more obsidian okay we're going to have to go on an obsidian hunt hmm i might do that and i'll come back in a moment once i've got a bunch of obsidian hey guys i'm back and i just wanted to give you a bit of an idea of how good this hammer is because i went ahead and threw a bunch of, obs of redstone on it and look how fast it's breaking this obsidian boom and we have nine obsidian that is pretty beastly i do have to say it is pretty pretty nice i don't think i've had a hammer that can break obsidian that fast ever yoink so we've got 30 obsidian in a matter of not that long at all yoink that is 
pretty dang cool. 37 obsidian, which is more than enough for what we want to do. I'm, I'm not going to bother collecting too much more of that. So I will meet you upstairs again. And it, well, I'll quickly actually, I forgot to make a pick too. I was meant to make a blooming pick, but I'll quickly show you how fast this is on stone. Yoink, yoink, yoink. It's pretty quick. With all of the upgrades, it is, where is it hiding? It has got a, oh, it does tell you a mining speed. Oh, I can't even see it now. It did tell me a mining speed, and it was 16.6 something or other, but um, I can't find that now. Obviously, it has to be in the Toolforge to see that. But anyway, I will see you back up when I am home. Okay, guys, we're back, um, and we've got the endothermic pump up. So basically, all we need to do is make some ender-infused obsidian, which, of course, we don't have any enderpearls. We should have some of those guys. Enderpearl, we have 13, so that should be more than enough. I think all we need is possibly one. I think it gives you four um, obsidian from one enderpearl. I'm correct, but that's fine. We will grab one lot of that. And I can never find that dash on my keyboard. Endothermic. Okay, so we need an iron pick. I don't think we have one of those. We'll just see what we can do. No, we don't have an iron pick. Yoink. Iron pick, lovely, and we don't have an eye of ender, we can make one of those, lovely, and then the last thing, shift click, kaflunk, we have ourselves an endothermic pump, lovely. Uh, we're going to need a power supply for that as well, so we're going to need to make some dynamos and all those good things. Um, hmm, magmatic, magmatic dynamo. Going to want one of these guys, Invar gears, I'm sure we can make those, one, two, um, a reception core, we won't have one of those. Yoink. And kaflunk, we have ourselves a magmatic dynamo. Right, we're going to need also some ender tanks. Now, probably what we're going to be short of, I think it's dash tank. No. Tank. No. Ender tank. Hmm. Where are they hiding? There, ender tank space. Okay, so blaze rods, some ender pearls. We're gonna need a couple of the one, two, and kaflunk. Oh, we'll short of blaze rod. That's fine. Blaze nuggets. We can make the. We can make the relatively easily. We're just gonna make yoink forty-seven of those because hey, why not? Okay, so we should be able to go in ender space tank these guys and make Vun and oh what are we short of obsidian we can fix that obsidian and two then we're gonna need some dye um, do we have any flowers in here we do not so we'll see we've got some red and yellow right there so that's perfect we'll make it red 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 for lava I'm not sure how many dye we get from each we'll grab three Pretty sure you get three die from each flower, but that's okay. Through there, get rid of that. Yoink, and oh, we only get one. Oh, we got a bunch. It's heaps. It's more than enough. So what we'll do is we'll place these guys down like so. We don't want that in them. So red, 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 red. That's my lava. And basically, I'm probably going to end the episode here, guys, because all I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the nether and I'm going to set up a endothermic pump with the magmatic dynamo and a couple of uh, f fluid conduits pumping into these ender tanks, connecting to this guy, which creates obsidian. And then we're going to set it all up to the system so that that goes into the system via a storage bus and creates us a bunch of that dark steel. Um, and I think I've run a little bit long, so I haven't got a timer going, <laughs> so I'm going to end it there, and I hope you've enjoyed, go ahead and hit that like button, share the video, all those good things, and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.